What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. I don't know why things look so dark and weird right now. Um, but for breakfast, I, um, I, I'm just like a floating head. Uh, for breakfast, I had a bagel that I made. For lunch, I didn't have anything. And for dinner, we ordered Mexican food. Uh, the past few times this Mexican food, we, we, we order it. And the past few times, like we've ordered this Mexican food like five times. And the past two times we've ordered it, not my parents' food, but my food has been kind of cold and it sucked. Um, I've had to put it in the microwave, and it's fine in the microwave, but the microwave sort of makes everything the same consistency, if you know what I mean. Um, and so it's just sort of sucked. Um, but, you know, the food tastes very good, so we've been going back, and it's been a fine experience for my parents, and they're the ones paying, so, you know, they, you know, they keep ordering. Um, but, you know, um, I think maybe next time we should try priority shipping, and if it does anything, uh, I, Okay, this looks bad with how dark it is. Can I make this like any better? Um, ugh, are you guys okay with it like looking so bad like this? Like this is horrifying. Okay, that's okay. Um, and I, I hate to blame the restaurant. I'm sure great people work there, but I really think it's the delivery. Like, I think it's the delivery that's making it cold because, you know, why would they serve cold food? You know, maybe, maybe I'm, uh, uh, may, may, you know, maybe I just don't, may, maybe, maybe I'm uneducated, but when I worked at a sandwich shop for like a year, um, we always, I don't know, we always tried our best to make sure the food was hot when it was picked up by the person. And I can't imagine those sandwiches staying hot by the time they got to the house. So it's sort of surprising that my parents' food is hot, you know, because I don't even know, like, I like I don't know. That's crazy. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I wanted to show you guys this because I've se I saw this video, like, when it came out a month ago. But, um, you know... I just remembered this specific memory that this video had sort of dredged up um, today, and I was like, well, I better talk about this in my video, because if I don't talk about it, it'll be lost forever. I'll probably forever lose this memory and um, until I watch this video again. And so I'm committing it to time and eternity in this video. Um, so Quentin, in this video, he talks about, um, like, uh, what am I saying? Quentin in this video talks about this game show, uh, and I had no idea what he was talking about, right? I didn't know what he was talking about, but um, there's this very small sort of clip here, and I remember this specific thing. Like, I didn't remember this game show at all, but I actually remember this. This. You had to, like, jump on these or something. I kind of forgot what the whole point was, but, um, that, like, I very very specifically remember this floor and seeing this floor on TV and I must have been so young not even young enough to know what show I was watching right but I remember seeing this floor and it would just make me so angry it, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't make me like seethe but it would make me really mad um, and you know the reason why was because these dots are way too small for this floor I like I very specifically remembered how small these dots were. I was like, that's so strange. And I was thinking of dice, and I was like, well, dice, their dots are way bigger. Why are these dots so small? And it was horrifying. And, you know, the proportions just really freaked me out. Um, I have this, and this is generally just a weird thing in my brain. Uh, I've had nightmares about this, um, about, like, things not being proportionally large enough as they should be. Um, so I've had some pretty bad nightmares where I thought that like my bones were shrinking, right? And uh, you know, the freaky thing was of course the weakness that occurred once that happened in the dream, but also just the fact that these bones were like the size of bones you would find in salmon and that my hand was so big and that my arm was so big and they would have these tiny bones in them. And you know, that's just sort of an inherently sort of disgusting concept in my mind. It's it's repulsive. It's it's probably one of the worst things I can think about. These small like things that are too small to to be where they're supposed to be, if that makes sense. And um and it's weird because like it's not like I don't know, like this is a weird little little critter I have on top of my monitor here, right? And it's small, but like I'm not spooked by it. 
I don't know what in particular is spooky, um, but yeah, something that really freaked me out was the size of these dots, and I remember them very distinctly. Um, so I just wanted to tell you guys about it because I just thought it was, it was so crazy. Um, and yeah, you know, um, I woke up at six this morning because I went to bed at nine, um, and I'm gonna go to bed at eight tonight and wake up at five um, for school. Um, and uh, I woke up at six and, you know, I hung out, I took a shower, um, I ate my bagel, um, I made some coffee, I ate some dark chocolate, um, and I had this meeting with a doctor, like a Zoom meeting with a doctor at 9.30, um, and it was actually about my skin. It actually looks, it actually looks really good right now, which is kind of a first, but, um, this morning it looked pretty bad and I sent him some photos and he was like, yeah, that looks, you know, it looks like your skin's red. I don't really know what I expected the doctor to say. My mom made the appointment. I don't know what my mom expected the doctor to say. He was like, yeah, you should try some like, I think it's called like hydrocortolone or something. It's not called that, but, uh, oh, it's actually IV hydro, hydrocortisone. Um, he's like, yeah, you should put some hydrocortisone on your face, like 1%. I was like, okay. Like, try that for a week and um yeah um i told him how i used to use retinoid at night and uh doctors have these crazy brain worms about retinoid uh you know they they hear about retinoid and they they look at the side effects and it's like oh redness of the skin dryness of the skin right but the thing is the whole thing about retinoid is that it only makes your skin red for like half a week it makes your skin red for like three days when you first start using it because your skin's reacting to the sort of weird exfoliation it does to your skin. But after that, it makes your skin like very uniquely smooth and, and your complexion like particularly good, right? And that's why, you know, I'm such a big advocate for retinoid personally. And, you know, I, you know, I think retinoid's a great, great product, you know, um, like, like finasteride, but I haven't started losing my hair yet. So I'm not on finasteride yet. Um, but, um, you know, it, it's a great product. And uh, he was like, oh, so stop using retinoid. And I'm like, yeah, I stopped using retinoid like two weeks ago. So my parents wanted me to stop using retinoid. I didn't say it like that, but you know, it was all a little silly. Uh, I'm gonna start using hydrocortisone though. And um, my parents are watching American Horror Story, sorry. Um, and what else? Um, then, uh, I exercised, I walked five miles today because I didn't have a lot of time. Um, actually, I had plenty of time, I was just delayed when I started exercising. I walked from 10.58 to 12.47. All together, I walked for an hour and 44 minutes, walked five miles, and I burned 511 calories. Um, that was a pretty good exercise. Um, I'm trying not to sweat too much, and that results in me walking pretty slow. The reason I don't want to sweat too much is because I don't want to mess up my face even more. I think saltiness, I'm, I have crazy brain worms about touching my face. Um, and even when I have a whole bunch of sweat on my face and my face is really itchy, I still just don't touch my face and I let the sweat dry, which I think is even worse than touching your face. But I just, I, I am freaky about touching my face, right? So um, I, I don't touch my face and you know, I don't think that's good when your skin's actively red. And, you know, my skin actually looks pretty good right now. Um, let me let me look at it. Yeah, it's not showing up on camera, but it's still pretty red. But you know, my skin looks pretty good right now. It's just that um, you know, um, it's not it's not great um when to to sweat when it's red. So you know, I'm just walking on the treadmill, and uh, you know, it turned out okay. Um, I washed my sheets today. I cleaned four of these shirts today. They're air drying on the drying rack. Um, and things are generally going pretty well. Uh, and then uh, we went to the dentist. Um, sadly, one of our dentists called in sick, and so me and my dad had to do ours like one after another. Um, but, um, you know, it was good. Um, the doctor came in. Well, you know, I, I, since I turned 18, they did a full x-ray on me, and apparently you do that once every five years. I told my dad about it, and he was like, oh, they do that to me every two years. I was like, oh, that's that's weird. Um, but I don't know, I don't know why. My dad has worse teeth than me, so maybe that's why, but apparently for me, it's once every five years. And, um, you know, they did a full x-ray, and that was pretty interesting. Uh, it's weird that I was 
sort of pumped full of radiation and it's weird to think about. Of course it's safe, and whenever you mention that as sort of a passing comment to the dentist, they're very sure to assure you that it's totally, that it's completely safe, there's no, there's no proven, like, like, higher risk of cancer because of, like, regular x-rays, and it's really, which is, you can't, you can't make a passing comment on the radiation or else they'll, like, start bombarding you with disclaimers, right? Um, but it's weird. It's weird to think about. And I know it's totally safe. And I'm gonna, like, they call me Mr. X-ray with how many X-rays I'm getting at the dentist, right? But, you know, it's just a little weird. You know, it's weird. You know, it's, it's weird. You know, and it's weird that you can't feel radiation either. Uh, the thing that I mentioned to the dentist that, that they always pump me full of disclaimers as soon as I tell them um, is just, ooh. Oh, my whole computer for, oh, there we go. That was weird. Um, uh, as I always say, like, it's weird that there's so much radiation happening and that you don't, like, I don't feel anything. Like, it, you can't feel anything, right? But it's just weird. You would expect to feel something as an x-ray is happening. It's just so weird. The radiation is so crazy. Um, and, yeah, the doctor came in. He said, I have some of the best teeth he's seen all year. Great teeth, apparently. Pretty big overbite. Check this out. That's crazy. Um, but, you know. On. Overbites. Fixing an overbite with braces is primarily a cosmetic thing, so I, I don't I don't care what like. Like you can't tell I have an overbite, um, so. Yeah, what else? Um. Oh, they talked about how my wisdom teeth are gonna start coming in. Um, and how I'll probably want to remove one of them. Uh, and there's a great doctor they recommended, so I'll probably go there. Um, yeah, and then I went home. Uh, we ordered the Uber Eats on my phone because I have a free trial of Uber One that I do sometimes. Um, and yeah, we got 40% off because of a promotion. Uh, and it was pretty much as much as it would cost if we, uh, if we ate there. So, you know, it only makes sense to do Uber Eats if it costs as much as eating out. If you're paying like a million dollars to Uber Eats, and like I see some stuff on there with like $10 delivery fees. That, that's crazy, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we came home, we did the Uber Eats. Um, I put the trash bins out because it's Monday. And yeah, I go to school tomorrow. And yeah, all right. I hope everybody has a good day. And uh, yeah, all right. Oh, um, my my jacket. Uh, it um, confirmed arrived at StockX, so it's gonna take two days for them to verify it, um, and then they're gonna package it, and then they're gonna ship it to me. So it's one step closer in the process of my jacket getting to me, and then I'll look really stupid. I'll look like I have a trash bag on, but that's cool. Um, no, I'm joking. I'm very excited for this jacket. It'll it'll look really sick. Um, but yeah. All right. See you, dude.